and we're back. Sorry about the long break. Needing to, you know, figure out what project I want to do and schoolwork and work work and, you know, having the, the grandson around. Hands have been full. But I finally got some, some time to myself and two, two projects. Uh, real, granted, the real minor, one of them we've done at least once, if not twice already. So really this isn't, uh, one of them isn't really going to be a how-to so much as a, look what I did, um, you know, styling for the Street Glide. Uh, this, what I've got going on today, is actually going to be for the Springer. And if you guys are familiar, the some of the soft tails from this time frame, the tank bib, at least for mine, was just a black piece of textured plastic for the most part. And while it didn't look terrible, it wasn't awful. It was kind of plain and boring and just run of the mill. And I've looked at Harley, JP, Dennis Kirk, you know, kind of different places where they have the, uh, in, it's not really an insert, it's, a, it's another bib, but it's chrome and it just, it matches this. And it just carries it all the way down to the seat. Which is cool, my brother's got one on his uh, 98 Softail. And his is like aluminum chrome, whereas everything I'm finding for this is all an ABS chrome. And that's cool and all, it looks good. That's how I know I like it, because I've seen it. Um, but I wanted to do something still a little different, you know. He's already got that, I don't want the same thing he's got. It's cool as it is. I want something a little bit more my own. So, got in contact with what is apparently a family friend who is also a leather worker, at least an amateur leather worker, maybe advanced intermediate, I, I don't know. But I gave him my takeoff as a template, we pitched some ideas back and forth, and sure enough, he, he did up a custom leather tank bib for me, and that's what's going on here today. Um, it is still a little dirty, so I'm going to kind of just wipe it down real quick with one of my sprays and a towel, uh, you know, before this bib goes on permanently because it, it it's it's dirty. So without any further ado, let's bring you over to the bench top and ta-da. He, I really kind of gave him, you know, mostly carte blanche to do whatever. And I mean, it's, it's full on, it's leather. I mean, it's not, faux or pleather or nothing just went with a regular black background see how much of this comes through did a little bit of stamp work all through one with kind of an antiqued white longhorn skull just because it seemed fun you know these holes here are all in the same location as stock because he had the stock for a template so what concerned me a little bit here was if it's coming through, this is a very rough, very textured leather. So the back of it isn't all that finished out. It would have been nice, but it's also not the end of the world. I'm just happy to get whatever. And like I said, he's he he's experienced. I don't want to say he's really an amateur because he's done several uh, gun holsters for me and my family, a couple of purses for my mom, and now this. And who, I have no idea what else he can do or can't do. So again, I'm going to stick with intermediate or advanced intermediate leather worker. So I came up with an idea and my wife had some spare fabric laying around. Yes, it, it's ice creams and watermelons and hearts, but whatever. I don't care because I'm going to use this 3M Super 77 spray that I, ha I bought for the boat out there, I'm going to do a light coating of that adhesive spray. I'm gonna take that fabric, stick it here, and then put that on the bike, because I don't wanna damage the paint that's on it any more than already is, and when the bike gets resprayed, I don't wanna damage that. And I think we got some big, big changes coming to the Springer beyond just paint. So definitely stay tuned for that one. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until plans are a little more solidified and money has spontaneously appeared. Uh, so let me go ahead and get uh, get 
this sprayed and the fabric attached and we'll dawdle on over plop it into place you can see i already got everything's prepped and ready to go and we'll check that out so it should just be a couple minutes all right so actually pretty easy i mean let's let's be surprised it, it was a freaking tank bib it was a half inch socket and a t25 allen wrench torx bit my bad plus whatever you need to yoink your seat off the bike but you know there she is still kept with the black a little bit of white which i think kind of works with the chrome you know the brown was random i don't hate it i don't know that i would have gone i would have like consciously chosen brown but I'm, I'm good with it you know it's it's in here nice and snug you know it's gonna relax once we get onto heat in the sun a little bit and it's this color scheme is gonna work just as well on the new paint as it does on this green so the re the respray is still in the works so I got a guy I just need to got the money but you know whether you go with some random leather you go with you know the the plastic abs chrome or a metal chrome or or whatever you decide to do here it's going to be the same basic process the half inch socket the t25 ish give or take and off on seat on and i guarantee you nobody else out there has got this exact tank bit you're gonna have something similar but you ain't gonna have this one, which I appreciate because that one's mine. That one was made for me and me only. And to boot, I got to help a small local guy, you know, kind of further his venture in leather working and not toss money out of some big corporation, which is always a win-win for me. So real short video, uh, but I guess I will touch on the fact that I am still in works with Saddleman over this gap here the seat has some rock to it i, I don't groove that the r d guys are trying to tell me that the seat's going to settle i'm not buying it i think there is an issue with the seat pan but the guy i've been dealing with out there has been phenomenal i really feel like he's going above and beyond to help me out with this because i'm just not satisfied with that gap you know the, the seat off my buddy's heritage like a glove this one is supposed to be designed for this not not at all glove like so but the, the customer service granted it's not quick uh this has been going on for several weeks now but the dude is pleasant and he's hitting up his manager his r d team he's uh recently been talking to the guy who designed the seat pan you know i think he's talked to everybody shy of the owner so i really appreciate that and i hope that we can come to sort of sort of a resolution and whatever that resolution is good bad or otherwise i will make sure everybody out there knows hey awesome or hey <clears throat> but I, i'm thinking it's going to be more the, the the former than the latter so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and start recording the next video so you're going to see back-to-back -back videos of the same outfit because i'm i'm just going to do it that way so Questions, comments, concerns. Can't imagine there's going to be a lot of questions, but hey, who knows? Comments, concerns, fire them at me. Good, bad, otherwise, I'm all ears. So that's all I've got. Until then, we'll catch you all next time. Later.